Hi, and welcome to Match Movie Production by VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, and in this video we'll be continuing with the Hunter Project Shot H001. In part two, we'll be importing our camera into Maya and getting our object tracks ready to be used. So Maya is opened up. The first thing that we want to do is import our camera. So we go File, Import. We navigate to where our files are. So we want to import in our mail script. Then we'll import in our geometry. So we go file, import. Our, we'll bring in our head. So next we'll file, import our rifle. Then lastly, we'll import our set geo from our data package. So you should have all this in your scene now. So if we go to frame one, go to panels, perspective. So if we go to our scene group actually in our outline, we should have a hunter camera, that's our sequence camera. And we should have a sigma camera. So we can delete the sigma one because that's our lens distortion. So we go panels, perspective and hunter. We, we want to set up our camera first. So we select this little camera icon here, go to Attributes Editor, and go to Image Plane at the top right, and select the yellow file, and want to import in our undistorted plate we've just rendered out. We'll select Use Image Sequence, change our alpha gain to 0 0.7, then we'll scroll down to Placement where it says Depth, one. Now we can see our plate and our geometry. So we'll go to our, because we exported our, usually I'd export it out on the fr first frame, but it looks like I haven't exported it out on that frame. So what we can do, we can just scrub through our timeline and we can see where our geometry lines up. So we exported out on frame 1039. So if we select our head mesh, we know it's under, we did our head mesh under our first point group. So our first point group here is our camera point group. And our second point group was our object, which was our head. So I'm gonna select my head and go under my second point group. Then my rifle can go under my third. Now I can select my hunter set geo, control G, and I can call this set, set geo underscore GRP, and I can put that under my scene group. So now if I scrub through my timeline, I can put my shading, wireframe and shading on, and now I can see everything's tracking with my plate. Now you're ready to do some digital face makeup or something like that, or replace the rifle. And we're pretty much done with this shot now. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button and subscribe for more like this.